Hello YouTubers and whale fans. In this episode we will take a look at these three gorgeous figures of a sperm whale. So the first one uh, is uh, produced by Collecta as you see in 2018. Gorgeous figure, no words about it, uh, uh, total masterpiece. Um, great sculpting as you see. Um, the whale in nature has this um, torpedo body shape and uh, it has uh, so many textures all around the body in nature and also the sculpture added these these features to this figure amazing um, this one is of solid PVC and uh, has some weight in it it's a good solid figure um, in the front we have a distinct forehead nice looking forehead um, this makes me feel that this is a uh, male because males and females have different body proportions males are way bigger than females um, so uh, you see only one blowhole located to the left of the body of the forehead and which is very typical for all the uh, tooth whales to have one blowhole but uh, cachalots they uh, have one but move to the left and um, uh, you see the uh, whitening around the lips also very accurate and uh, realistic and um, as you know cachalots are the biggest tooth whales and they have tooth only on the lower jaw and the jaw is pretty narrow very very unique design in nature cachalots have a relatively short pectoral flippers as you see in this figure uh, and uh, actually these um, are supposed to kind of fold in in uh, the uh, into the body pits that are supposed to be over here so when the whale dives he can uh, fold his flippers inside kind of not inside but along the body uh, into those uh, uh, arm like body pits and um, go full torpedo mode to dive uh, and as you know these guys are absolute champions uh, if we're talking about diving all the uh, lines that form the triangular of uh, of its uh, tail are straight uh, there is almost no uh, curves uh, at the end uh, also very typical feature of these uh, of these whales uh, so as they dive a lot um, they have uh, a very developed abdomen muscles and uh, in this particular figure you can really see that the sculpture worked a lot to uh, recreate this um, um, muscle structure in uh, along his uh, his abdomen and uh, if we look closer of course all along the body all these folds and wrinkles are very very realistic uh, these whales do have this wrinkle uh, body until somewhere over here and uh, here we can see that still there are um, I think uh, they wanted to recreate kind of battle damaged forehead and uh, kind of squid marks on the uh, forehead because as you know these whales uh, love squid and so they dive to hunt us, giant squids. So overall, this one uh, with the, its open jaw has a very realistic look. So let's take a look at the next one. And uh, this is not, uh, definitely another masterpiece in the terms of sculpting. Um, just gorgeous figure, gorgeous representation, also looks very, very realistic uh, with all these uh, paint job and uh, um, great detail job, just gorgeous. So um, 
Um, speaking about the producer, actually there are no stamps, no marks, uh, so I don't see who produced this figure, but I did some short research and I found that uh, these figures, uh, well, this particular one, was ordered by uh, Animal Planet, if I'm not mistaken. But I think I have a replica, because nothing is uh, written here. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> um, very nice forehead, very realistic once again. I like this asymmetry. As we can see over here, you see, uh, also uh, the blowhole is move to the left side, particular feature uh, of, uh, of cachalots. And again, I want to believe that this one is a male, considering his uh, forehead size. Um, as you see, this one has its eyeballs kind of popped out. You see over here, also gives this uh, very cool look and actually you can feel that the whale is looking at you and uh, i like the color it's very actually whale um uh, these whales are very different in colors and they can be with white spots they can be pretty dark well basic color of course is kind of grayish darkish so uh we moving uh, towards the tail and uh, over here we can see the uh dorsal fin, the main dorsal fin, and a uh, uh, couple others, couple smaller dorsal fins. Watch these abs. So uh, once again, sculptors did a great job to recreate this uh, uh, muscle-looking whale. Oh yeah, by the way, um, this is this thing is very heavy and very solid. You can actually hammer nails with this figure. Uh, and uh, the third one, the biggest one, if to compare with uh, the previous two, uh, but the lightest one. Um, the company that made this whale is a Wrecker. It's called Wrecker. So the material. Um, this uh, whale is made of kind of rubber, rubbery material. I don't know, maybe very soft plastic. But the main feature, it is hollow inside. So I can, actually, I can squeeze it and you actually can hear how air is pumping out and uh, inside of this whale um, uh, there is cotton uh, and as you see over here this uh, this whole scar I guess they kind of make uh, the mold fill it with cotton and just seal it with this part nice looking eyes this one comes with a closed mouth again these whales have a uh, relatively short pictorial flippers and uh, we can see it uh, on this figure. Um, we have one big dorsal fin on its back and several smaller and its uh, tail flukes. I wish it was a little bit wider and also without this curve. Um, yeah, but overall it's a nice looking figure. Same patterns. Uh, all over the body somewhere starting from the head going towards the uh, the tail flukes and uh, you could see the same features on the previous whales so great job great job and actually this is good uh, for kids to play so this is it for today thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i gave you some good advice uh, for your future collections or uh, for future presents to your children or friends and also to share it with you. So leave comments down below and subscribe to the channel. More whales are coming up. Have a great day.